Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on how to get iMovie 9 on your Mac running OS X Sierra. Sierra, my bad, latest version. If you guys do enjoy this tutorial, remember to leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible because I do have the YouTube app on my phone and I'll be able to re respond rather quickly. Because I always look if someone comments on my video, I will always check. So just to show you that I, this is the latest version of iMac or Mac OS X Sierra. I will go ahead and go and show you about my Mac. Um, this is it right here. It's iMac. It's a 21.5 inch late 2015. It's running Mac OS 6. <laughs> I can't even say it. Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.3, which is the latest version. I even checked my updates before I did this video to make sure that this was the latest version. And this is also the latest version of iMovie. And then, of course, I have iMovie 9.0.9. .9, and they both run together. I'll even do it. I'll, I'll go ahead and run the latest version of iMovie first. And then we're going to look at the iMovie 2 of 9.0.9. .9. And it took me a while to find out how I could actually get this thing to work. Because it took a lot of effort. And I'm also going to uninstall iMovie 9.0.9 .9 to start from the beginning. So as you see, I'm, iMovie, the latest version... Um, when I first looked at iMovie, and the whole reason I wanted to get iMovie 9.0.9 .9 is because it, I, the latest version of iMovie is just absolutely terrible because it's made for the simplicity when in the, the uh, older versions of iMovie had some really good effects and detail, and it was really meant for me. And as a professional editor, that's something I really look for. So, as you can see, iMovie, you can, they have simplicity, you can import the media, you got your audio, you got your titles, you got your backgrounds and transitions. And it's all right. It's a it's a good editor for someone who's never done video editing before. Has simplicity, adds um, crossfades in for you, and you can get rid of them if you want to. And of course, I like to add my own crossfades to make sure they're specific. But now let's open up iMovie Nine. And like I said, uh, this version is time point zero point nine. And so let's go ahead and make sure it will load. And there you are. So here's iMovie 9.0.9 and the new version of iMovie. And as you can see, completely changed completely changed theme here. It, as you see, iMovie had much brighter and iMovie decided to go with uh, a darker one in their newer versions. So I'm going to leave that open here. And as you see, I have a lot more options to deal with. We can go look at our music real quick. We can go to our pictures. We can go to transitions real quickly. And if I wanted to, I could check them out. And got my texts. I've got my um, great just usage of iMovie and usage of green screen, which I am an editor now and I'm doing professional editing. I need this. I need this type of editor. And as you can see, I also have Premiere Pro in case I don't have anything in Premiere Pro I would like. I can go back to iMovie 9. And because I don't really use the new version of iMovie, I'm not going to really need that. But you guys are here for a tutorial. So let's go on and get on go on and get on the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and delete iMovie 9 to show you how everything's done and we're going to start from scratch. Let's do it. All right, so I have completely removed iMovie 9.0.9 .9 because that's the one we're going to be downloading today, and that's the one I know that works. And just for further reference, as you watch this tutorial, there's going to be terminal involved, so I highly advise you watch the entire tutorial. So what you need to do is you need to go into Safari, uh, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox, you need to type in HTTP. Also, the link will be in the description in case you, in, in case some people want to follow along, you can do so as well. HTTP colon two forward slashes www.support.apple.com should be right yes okay so support.apple.com forward slash downloads forward slash iMovie of course, I can't spell, but <laughs> all right. So what you need to do is now you'll scroll down. And the first thing you see is download iMovie 9.0.9. .9. So we're going to go ahead and press the download button. And now this will take a little bit to download. And I will come back to you guys once it's finished downloading. All right. So I'll be right back, guys. All right. iMovie 9.0.9 .9 has successfully installed. And now we're going to go ahead and open it up in the finder should be right here in the downloads and we're going to need to drag and drop it to the desktop. Now you're probably thinking right away, it's a DMG file. It can be opened up and installed. Well, unfortunately for you, if you tried to open this up, it would ask for you to have the original 9.0 
version of iMovie on your Mac, which we do not have. This is just the update, and this this is just to install the update so you can update the application. Unfortunately, that's not what we're going to be doing. So first thing, we need to create a new folder, and you can name whatever you like, but I'm just going to call it iMovie. What you can do is go to Get Info or Rename. I like Get Info. I'm going to type in iMovie. Press the Enter button. Next thing we need to do is we need to double click this folder. It's going to open up the iMovie update. Let it do its thing. Let it verify. It's just all about patience. Okay, don't do anything else. Do not click this update package. Now we need to go to search and you're going to type in terminal. Double click on the terminal. And now this is where things get a little weird. So we're going to we're gonna need to type in PKG UTI tail. That stands for package utility space double dash expand space drag and drop this file. You know what? Actually, my bad. You want to drag and drop this file. Yes, yes, of course. Then you're going to drag and drop this folder. You're going to press, not, not yet, forward slash iMovie. This creates a folder so you don't have a whole bunch of folders within a folder. Now you let it do its thing. Let it complete. This does not take long. I promise you. And it's so worth it. I promise you this. This is so worth it, especially if you're one of those one of those classic video editors like myself who's grown up using iMovie for a long time and remembers it. And Premiere Pro and iMovie, in my opinion, is one of the best ones out there. So let's go ahead and wait and be patient. And I'll come back to you once this is done and completed. All right, it's done. As you can see, you can start typing stuff in. If you can start typing stuff in, you mean you're, you're good. So what you can do is you just can exit out of terminal and press quit. You can get out of this one too. And now we're finished on one of the other steps. Now we have to open up the iMovie folder. And as you see, they created a folder called iMovie. We can double click that. Next thing you see, you have distribution, iMovie update package and resources. We don't want to mess with any of these. We need to right click on the iMovie, the package content, and we need to show the package contents. We have bomb, package info, payload and scripts. What we need to do is we need to right click payload and get info because I, I was looking at if you double click payload because that's what you need to do. You need to double click payload, but you need to make sure it's it's spelled and it has this dot zip at the end and say, are you sure you want to add the extension dot zip to the end of the name? If you make this change, your document may open in a different application. You need to press add because it, it will not work if you don't. So we need to double click the payload dot zip now expanding the payload and this take this does take a few minutes it doesn't take long but it's just going to expand the payload make sure that everything's working it's going to make a payload to folder and a payload folder so i'll be right back on that and i'll get you on to the next step guys all right it's officially done doing its decompressing so we want to click on the payload to folder applications and look what we got we've got imovie ready to work and ready to do its job so before I open it, of course, I'm going to make sure that I, have, I really don't like anything on my desktop in case I absolutely need to. So I'm going to go to applications and drag and drop iMovie in there. Done. So now we can go to the iMovie folder. Right click, show package content, payload to applications, iMovie. Now I want to do copy iMovie and paste item. This is going to copy it in the entire, all its files and everything. Uh, what I want to do is keep both. Because if you would have done that, you would have replaced the old iMovie, which I would have done in the first place just to show that people that I'm not screwing around with them, <laughs> that they both do work and work hand in hand if you would like. So we're almost done. We're nearly there, guys. Promise you. This is just adding bonus steps. You're pretty much done at this point. I'm just showing you some extra steps if you'd like to do that in order to have it on your your, 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 your little, uh, I call this the desktop, miniature desktop. I'm not sure what's actually called because this is called the launch pad. I'm guessing this is called the dash. So I'm going to rename this iMovie 9. And I'm going to drag and drag. Dash, 
And there we go. And let's go ahead and open up iMovie 9. And there you go. You're all set. You're all done. You officially have iMovie 9 on your Mac OS S, OS Sierra. And there you go, guys. That's all you got to do. You're all set. You're ready to go. You're ready to edit. And have fun, guys. My name is Axia. I hope you guys did enjoy this quite difficult tutorial. It's actually pretty easy once you get to know it. And I believe this works for I, um, iMovie 8. I'm not 100% positive, but if you guys have any questions and would you like to know the answer to that, and if you ask me to do it, I will totally do it for you, and I'll find out if it works 100%. As you see, you've got iMovie and iMovie 9 and iMovie working hand in hand. They will work completely fine. They do not interrupt each other. Um, Apple has no problem, or the uh, the um, <laughs> I can't talk. The software has no problem loading them both. As you see, they work just fine. They have no problems. And you have your own projects that work with that project as well. As you see, there you have two completely different projects. So you're okay to do whatever you want. And of course, I'm gonna be using this one a lot more. It's probably will be the one I added with on this video. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you do, you make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And also you can delete these if you'd like. You can just press the right click eject iMovie. And then you can also move the trash. <coughs> yeah, make sure that it ejects. Yes, it does. And there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said before, leave a comment down below. If you have any more questions you would like me to get asked. And hit that like button and that subscribe button if you would love to. Have a great day, guys. Peace out. And enjoy your editing, everyone out there. It's been a great time. And enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Have a good one, guys.